Good morning, mamas. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, be encouraged and get excited because Good Morning Mama starts right now. Good morning, mama. We're so excited that you're here with us today. We today are going to be talking about appointments and we're gonna come out of number 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you some of the context to get you up to date on what we're gonna be talking about today. So, uh, number 16, verse one. There was Korah, and he was a Levi, and there were two other guys with him, and they were Reubenites. And what they did, they got a bunch of people together, 250 people together, to go up to Moses and Aaron. And this is what they said to him. They came as a group to oppose Moses and Aaron and said to them, you've gone too far. The whole community is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is with them. Why, do, why then do you set yourselves above the Lord's assembly? So they took all these people, and they went to Moses and Aaron, and basically they complained. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Moses and Aaron were the leaders of God's people, the Israelites. So God had specially appointed those two individuals to lead his people. Moses met with God, it says face to face, talked with him as someone would talk to a friend. So they had very, very special appointments with God, but also a lot of pressure on them to lead God's people rightly. Mm -hmm. um, but what we're going to talk about with this is specifically Korah, who was the leader. Um, the Levites were camping near the Reubenites. And so it would be like me and Jess are neighbors and I go to Jess and we start conspiring against the leaders of whoever we are, of our neighborhood association. Yeah. But basically um, they started being like not happy with where they were. And the significance of this is the tribe of Levi had been specially selected by God to serve in his tabernacle and on behalf of all of the tribes of Israel to um, do sacrifices and to you know put the bread on the table and just mm -hmm. take care of all the stuff that goes on in the tabernacle. It was a lot of stuff, but it was also a very high appointment. Yeah, it's kind of like modern day. Like it'd be like people who work at the church, mm -hmm. right? So not the pastors and not the elders, but the people mm -hmm. who work at the church. So kind of you can mm -hmm. use your brain to kind of think like that. Yes. Yeah. So they had a lot to do, um, but it was a special appointment. God had chosen them instead of taking the firstborn from every family, and Korah had just been like this isn't good enough for me and so he had tried to elevate himself with these other individuals and they tried to be like well how come moses and aaron get this high special calling we want that high special calling and they said you know all of god's people like she read are holy so why can't all of us go before god and you know speak to him and in hebrews it actually mentions this and it says that none of us elevate ourselves or none of us give ourselves this honor but that god appoints to each of us this honor and kind of what god just put on my heart with this is Korah had a special calling from God already to serve in the temple. Um, if you fast forward to verse 27, he and his entire family, children, small children, um, his wives, like his whole family were killed. Like the ground literally opened up and swallowed all of them. Their tents, their belongings, everything because of what this one man had done. And God just put on my heart that as wives, we have an appointment from him, a special appointment to serve in our homes. And so instead of serving in a church or a tabernacle, some of you guys may have that calling as well, but our house is like that tabernacle. Mm -hmm. And so God should reside in our homes. And we as wives are the gatekeepers essentially of the, whatever you want to, attitude, whatever you want to call it, of atmosphere. our homes. Atmosphere. The atmosphere is a good word. Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's on us, not fully, like we have to get our feeling from the Lord, but it's on us, what we allow into our homes, um, the attitudes we take on, what we portray to our families, how we encourage our family, how we serve our family, like that is completely on us. And I just know too many women, too many wives, too many moms that are trying to get out of their calling. Um, they're trying to diminish the appointment that God's put on their lives as a mom. And you know, some people have been like, well, it was an uh-oh baby, you know, you know, we weren't trying to have a baby, I didn't ask for this. It doesn't matter <laughs> mm -hmm. because God ordains each and every single one of our circumstances. And so if you have a child, you have been appointed by God. It wasn't by accident. I don't care how you see it, God doesn't see anything by accident. And so it's learning to embrace the, the season that you're in as a mom. We talked about seasons before. Um, but learning to accept that appointment from God and walking in that weakness, if it's a weakness, and saying, like, Lord, help me, because I don't want my whole family to perish because I'm not willing to accept this appointment. Mm -hmm. That's right. And if you're like, well, how do I even start? What do I even do? Go to Titus 2, Titus chapter 2. And in there, it talks about what, how women should act, how women should be, um, what to do. It kind of gives us a little bit of a roadmap. So it's a great place to start. Um, and sure. that's kind of what I, I've written. I'm like, okay, 
happy at home, happy at home, happy at home. <laughs> but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta preach to yourself, y'all. That's all that's what you gotta do. So, <laughs> if you guys know anybody out there that does something with excellence, they've been appointed and they are walking in that appointment. Um, send them our way. We'd love to interview them and just to hear their heart. But right now, we're gonna go do our thing, which is be mommies. Um, but we hope that y'all keep having a great morning and we'll see you next time. Till then, see you later. Bye.